Jürgen, do you feel that was a, a point gained or two dropped in the, in the scheme? It's an away game. Um, this was not uh, the most spectacular nil that I ever saw. I saw two of them, Liverpool, Chelsea, last year, the two finals. It was absolutely insane. Very similar teams, I would say. Um, completely different football because a different level of confidence for both teams. This was the fight we had to show tonight. This was uh, the way we have to start again our development. We cannot now hope because we did a couple of things which were absolutely not, not like they should have been, um, that we fix it then overnight. So I decided to make six changes that is always against a good football team it can be a big problem. Three of them in the last line, which is obviously a, a real a real challenge for the players and we could see in the first few minutes they went with their direct playing behind the last line. Yeah, we had we had a few problems there. Apart from that, um, they had their chances after we lost balls in moments where you just can't lose balls. That's now a problem we we keep a little bit. That's not good. But the recovery after that, the, the desire to sort the situation, I liked. So, um, yeah, nil nil. Um, as I said, not the most spectacular one, but um, a step for us, a little step, but a step in the right direction. Hi, Jürgen. Um, Hi. How did you go into this game um, confident so low? How did you like motivate your players? Oh, that's not, not a problem. I, I don't. It, it's like you can see, you know, and confidence sometimes just comes up again. So um, I don't expect us to to have no confidence, but I know that we have to for, put the, the hard work first. So it is not a situation where you go out with back heel and, and one two. So we have to fight through, and I know that's, that people don't want to hear that anymore. But you cannot change that. Um, if somebody else would sit here, else would have to say the same. <laughs> you wouldn't start now with back uh, with bicycle kicks. Um, so I saw a really good attitude of my team tonight, and that's what I wanted to see. And that's what uh, this is the basis for the, the rest of the season. Both teams played 63 games last season. And yeah. So much is said about the schedule, yeah. and then when both teams lose form, it's yeah. kind of ignored the schedule. How much was tonight's game a product of the schedule of not just last season but post-COVID? Pooh. I don't know. I'm not sure you can measure that really, but yes, last season was on the edge of being too much. That's clear, um, and that's it. Pretty much, we I think you, yes, not a real explanation for it. It's an more an observation, I would say. So obviously, some teams struggle this year in a way where you, what you wouldn't have expected. Mainly teams. Perform maybe much better than last year. Or teams who were not um, overperforming last year, um, this year who are not overperforming last year. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit like that. But it, 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 honestly, it's not that we are go for any excuses. It's already long ago. Yes, we had our problems, but we still could have done better, definitely. And um, that's something what we take really serious. But for the, for now, again. It's not about finding big explanations or whatever. It's about um, putting the hard work in, and that's what the boys did tonight, and that's what I, I like about the game. So I said, it's not a game people will write books about, but um, it's a point for us, and it's one more than before, and I can easily live with that. And from here we go. Next game is Arsenal now. Um, don't know exactly where Arsenal was last year, but they are now obviously flying and incredible shape and play super football honestly that's really good to watch as well um, but we are there it's our it's a home game and our home record is not as bad as the away record so um, means yeah I'm really looking forward to this game now because tonight I saw a step and that's what I wanted and now let's carry on how do you think Curtis Jones did considering he was only his good. second Premier League absolutely good Curtis did good well um, he until he lost power a little bit. Um, that's now completely normal. We lost. Oh, midfield was okay, but we lost them. If you, I think if you go back and look, all the chances Chelsea had was after we lose the ball in a moment where we cannot lose the ball. And it's not that the offensive player lose the ball and we, we win the ball in, in our. In, 
I'm not sure who, when the defender passed the ball just in their feet and the next ball is not to defend. It's just not, if you lose these balls, there's no formation in the world. So there we have to improve. So, but again, step by step, tonight I really thought we were much more compact in a lot of moments. We, we put much more pressure on the decisive player than we did in the last game, stuff like this. So no, different opponent, next game, different jobs to do, but we will find a way to cause them problems and that's what you have to be first and foremost each development each success starts with being difficult to beat and we have to be difficult to beat again if you are that you build confidence if you build confidence you are much closer to your best self and um, and then we are in a moment but that will not happen just like this it is not possible without super hard work and um, we will do that that's one, Matt Law. Jürgen, I appreciate you saying you're, you're taking steps, but in terms of goals for <laughs> the you. remainder of the season, um, do, yeah, we, do we, you still see there's an, op an opportunity there for the top four? Is it closed up? I, do, I don't know if there's any chance for, for that. We must win pretty much all the games, and the other teams above us must lose a lot of games. So I, I, that's not in our hands. I cannot say, but can I say about that? But it's not important. If we would be only high on, motivated on the highest level, if, if somebody tells us, oh, you have a chance for top four, then if we are not fourth, then we will be. F then I want to be fifth. If we are not fifth, then we are going to be sixth. So that's what I want to be. And for that, we have to win football games because at the moment I don't even know where we are exactly. Eight, seven, nine. I, I don't know. It's not interesting. We have another, um, what is it, ten games um, to, to play, and the next one is Arsenal. No, not the other nine. I'm not interested in. But the next one is Arsenal. So, if we are difficult to beat against Arsenal, we can win this game. If not, Arsenal will just go over us. So, and then we will see. With one point, the steps, as I said, are not massive. If we win a football game, all of a sudden three points for one game. Wow. <coughs> And things can look different, but from the moment it's not about. We have we have no lack of goals or lack of where we want to end up. We know exactly we want to be as successful as possible. And, but that means for each weekend or for each midweek game like today, we want to win it. I saw that tonight, and that's with that I'm fine. Thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank